Welcome back. All right, so a quick news of the day video for all you fine people for your Wednesday, uh, February 9th. As uh, we get an update on the news from last night where we thought we might get a couple of suspensions, looks like that's what's going to take place. Uh, first off, for Brad Marchand, he has been offered an in-person hearing, which means that they have the option of making it more than five games. In-person hearing is, is usually a more heavy-duty suspension. And the fact that they're saying it's for roughing and high sticking Jari tells you that it's a suspension for both offenses. So it has to be at the very least two games. My guess is with the in-person nature of it, uh, again, I'm thinking five. I, I still think five. It may end up being more if they think that one or the other or both were egregious. Uh, on Boston news as well, Bergeron will not play tomorrow. They're saying upper body injury. I'm thinking probably concussion. Um, fingers crossed on that. But without Bergeron and Marchand for tomorrow's game, Boston seriously weakened right there. That's two-thirds of that top line, and that's where they'll be relying a little more than they might want to on guys like Coyle, um, Howla, guys like that. So we'll see how things go for Boston, but Marchand could be out for a while. Uh, and Marcus Foligno has a hearing for kneeing Lowry last night. It is not an in-person hearing. So it will be less than five games. And I, I'm i thinking probably two. One or two games for Foligno for that one. So yeah, we'll see what happens with those. Uh, from last night's games, and I, I tried. I tried to watch the Russian game. I got like partway into the first period and I was like, man, I'm just too tired. Uh, so Russia did beat uh, the Swiss 1-0. Uh, Denmark is really the story early on with the men's Olympics. Uh, they won 2-1 to one over the Czech Republic or Czechia. And it is the first ever men's uh, hockey game at the Olympics for Denmark. And they win it. So for the Czechs, it's a rough start. For Denmark, they get off to a 1-0 start. Uh, the one thing with Olympic tournaments, they're over very quickly. So it, it is amazing how quickly they're done, and then you're into the medal round, and then done. Because, of course, the whole Olympics is only two weeks. I often wondered, like, you know, you, you train up, and you go to the Olympics, and then your event is first. How does that feel that your event is done first? And, all right, now you got the rest of the two weeks. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, I'll keep track of what goes on with the, with the men's games from here, and this is basically it. Because, again, it's middle of the night when these games are taking place, usually. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, I think there's a game tonight at 8 o'clock, but again, I'll, I'll already be watching NHL games, and then that just makes everything uh, take a little bit longer. So anyways, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Sidney Crosby, this guy right here, uh, he's at 499 goals, so when he hits goal number 500, there's definitely going to be a video on that and on his career thus far and whatnot. I don't think it'll be the first time I've done a video on, on Crosby's career either. A uh, remarkable run for him, and he's been scoring pretty well lately as well. So goal number 500 right around the corner. Wouldn't be surprised if it's their next game. Uh, the Colorado Avalanche have said that their their target now for the re return of Nathan McKinnon is Sunday. So he should be back in the lineup on Sunday. Uh, as scary as that injury looked, he didn't end up being out nearly as long as it could have been, as it may have looked initially. So McKinnon will be set to return then. An interesting anniversary that was retweeted out by the National Hockey League today that this date in 1966 was when they announced the first expansion. So uh, the original six era was from 19, I want to say 42 to 1967. Uh, before that, you had some expansion, contraction, everything. But then you had the stability of the original six. And then in 67, uh, we got six other teams added to it which was in part to try to prevent any other leagues from jumping up and taking that market away from the National Hockey League. But I've done videos on that. So um, the, the, the his, amount of historical videos on this channel, is it's a, it's a lot. So anyways, uh, the NHL's first expansion was announced February 9th of 1966. And we can all debate about whether or not that was a good idea. Maybe they should have stayed at six teams. So just imagine how stacked those six teams would be, right? All right, uh, or would they not be stacked because if you stay at six teams, you do end up with a rival league and you end up being left in the dust. That's quite possible as well. So yeah, um, pretty big date there for the National Hockey League and where they start to make some real money. And we start to see some really ugly jerseys out of that expansion as well. 
All right, that being said, uh, on to the last bit of news here, which is good news for Toronto. Austin Matthews expects to play tomorrow. So Matthews, uh, it, it looked kind of scary at the time, but it looks like he's not going to miss a game. And so that's important for Toronto, as things are going pretty darn well for the Leafs right now. And so with the winning streak as it is, you don't want to end up losing Matthews. And so it looks like he will play tomorrow. So at least that's his hope. Sometimes what the player wants and what actually happens are two different things. But at this point, it looks like he'll be playing in tomorrow's game. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.